Wolf, I guess. This is my first time seeing his Wolf. Yeah, this must be something brand new, because maybe maybe we've seen it online maybe once or twice, but right. definitely first time for tournament play, at least that yeah. I'm aware of. Yeah, I saw him working on like, different characters for a little while now. So let's see how much how the, how well this has gone. Yeah, now Trash Boat, this uh, this purple Yoshi is tried and true. He's right. been rocking this thing for a long time. Yeah. He does mix Love it up it. a little bit now. He Plays does have inkling, right? inkling and then occasionally Jigglypuff now, oh, depending okay. on matchup. Okay. Especially the big boys. Yeah. Surprisingly, because you think Puff would die at like 40, but. Yeah, but it's actually like scary because like your hurt box is so big, so the rest is, is hard to avoid. <laughs> right now, looking like Pharaoh off to a pretty fantastic start, but that's a good down nice, smash there. Yeah, that was a nice down smash. Taking his time though, letting him get back to stage essentially for free. Right. Uh, Pharaoh's really, <laughs> Pharaoh's really winning this. Hello. <laughs> that's a, that's a good forward tilt there coming out from Pharaoh, just looking for that kill shot. Yeah, Pharaoh's really winning the uh, the zoning game. Well, that was a good nair though. That egg's on point. Nice. Almost got. Oh, him. yeah, that would have been a really nice edge card. That was a good setup. 150 yeah. onto oh. this Yoshi, still not going down. That was almost on the money. Yeah, this is. Oh, there nice back okay. air. Pig and stock. Yeah, that's the thing with Wolf. It's a little hard to kill. Mm -hmm. But. Okay. He finds it eventually. Tebo was looking for that side B, too. So, oh, there it is. There nice you go. Smash. Ties it up. Right at two stocks. And less than six minutes. So, basically, Smash 4. <laughs> to start over again, but it's Smash 4. <laughs> Surprised he just rolled out of the way. I feel like he could have got a punish there. He just. Nothing hitting there right now. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff whiffing and hit, getting hit on shield. Parry, but okay, there we go. Trash boat. Yeah, back. there we go. That's what I wanted. Just a little more pressure coming out of trash boat, just because Yoshi's frame data is so good, right? So if they're oh, sitting yeah. there like shielding each other, you want to just like, just go in with a bunch of attacks with Yoshi, and you can abuse that really hard. Okay, interesting little down B, but it did end up working for him. That's a yeah. huge hit there. Trash Almost boat's the king of the random down Bs. He definitely has that on point. Oh yeah. That Nair is really nice. It just drifted so far back and lingered so long. And misses the down B. Doesn't get punished, though. So. That was a nice attempt, though, from Pharaoh. The F tilt. Got 154 onto this wolf. Yeah, but uh, I was going to say if he got... He was looking for a forward smash. I was going to say if he got that, that would uh, that would have definitely been the stock. He's going to look for a back air there, but Trash Road manages to... Oh. Get around it. And, oh, nice down B. Just Perfect. catching them. They're both just kind of pressing buttons, and so Trash Boat just decided to call that out there. Tried and true T-Boat. Oh, nice. just let's catch go through the wrong side. Yeah, catching him out of the shield there. Had he parried that, he would have been a god. But unfortunately, yeah. just barely missing the timing. Yeah, that would have been sick. Nice dash attack. Nice little combo coming out. Ooh. Down smash would have been nice there. Is that a forward smash, but... Eh, damage is damage. I guess we'll yeah. take it, right? <laughs> nice. Speaking of which, Back that's air. a lot of damage coming out here for Trash Boat. Oh, that was actually smart, because like, the uh, up smash has a bit of a back hit. But it was just a little bit off. And all these trades going into Yoshi's favor. Pharaoh at kill percent at this point. For like a smash attack or something like that. Right. Although you can tell T-Boat is kind of reaching. Good back here, though. All right, let's see how he recovers. Oh. Nice. And I okay. really tense here. Yeah, Pharaoh holding center on right in the center of that Pokeball. Nice. I like that up tilt. Really good. Really good anti here. Just drop him. Oh, that could have been huge. He was looking for the up air, but didn't land it. Oh, in that's true T boat yeah. fashion. Let's get that, was that scary down. Because he couldn't real I don't think he could have held shield, probably would have broke. And yeah, not too much you can actually do there. And while we are in the middle of the roll out in between games here, shout out to Atmos is bad for that three month resub. Thank you so Ooh. much. Now where do we go for game number two of your Pharaoh? Do you make your switch? Because I mean I mean, you're the fellow uh, <laughs> Incineroar main here, too. We know that he has I like that it, um, first Yoshi. Wh what's nice about it is, like, especially against, like, Trash Boat, um, if, you're, if, if you catch him, like, whiffing a down B, uh, 
there's a few times where Pharaoh tried to punish it, and he, uh, he it, it got shielded, right? But like, if you're in Sinora, you can kind of dash out of the way and just grab it. Just yeah. get the side B, and it, it's good for punishing that at least. Um, yeah, it looks like. Oh, well, we are gonna see it, yeah. And I think I saw. I think they picked Yoshi's story as a stage too, so I think that's really nice because now he gets a really good stage for Incineroar, just a nice small, small one. Yeah, yeah it's distance, Yoshi's story. Yeah, less distance you have to travel for Incineroar, the better. Yeah, th this is definitely one of his best stages. All right. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. He can revenge eggs and like yeah. some of the uh, common attacks. Yeah, it's true. Tebow just can't throw out hitboxes anymore. Right. Probably wow, good. that was a really interesting up air. Nice. I like the neutral B. He finds his opportunity with a couple aerials. That's Chasing something. Them down. Yeah, something about the matchup. Uh, Pharaoh's gonna have to be really careful though. Is the fair spikes. Oh yeah. If he does like a bad side B, uh, Trashville can very easily just run off and uh, just fair. Ooh, that was almost the read, but it was a little slow, unfortunately, there. Poor Trash Boat. Nice backer, making it hard for him to land. There would have been a good time for revenge, just because. There, he got that. It's looking to kill. Oh, yeah. Right from center, around 120 ish. Taking him down. Super Saiyan percent is gone. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, goes high. Trash Boat doesn't, uh, doesn't expect it there. Yeah, that'll catch you probably twice. There's a nice revenge and almost oh, actually got the reach Yeah, on that would've been nice. Now, yeah, what's nice is uh, that up tilt, when you have revenge, is like, it's already like normally pretty safe, but like, revenge makes it even safer. It yeah, pushes it's safe, them back. it hits like a dang truck, though. Yeah. It? Oh, back air for Trash Bow. Can he secure this kill off stage? But Pharaoh does get back safely. Okay, down B. Yeah. Yeah, Pharaoh just needs to, when he's juggling, just kind of be wary of the of the down B, just because he can he can either dash out and side B it, or he can just revenge it. Okay, that's, that's a huge damage. damage. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, it, it was. Uh, I had a feeling Trash Bill would jump onto the stage. Man. Nice. That'll do nice. it. Again. Yeah, it looks like this fix working out. The only scary thing is is uh, Yoshi's potential. Like he's really good at getting a Sinor. He can get down air, kind of. Even if he just oh, pushes and that's exactly down. what you're talking yeah. about. But he still oh, lives. Nice. Yeah, that was good. That was a good recovery. I was surprised. I thought it was dead. Got any higher percent, he was dead. Yeah. Nice. I actually did like that little air dodge. It's cute. Good egg. Uh, both these guys swinging for the fences. Yeah. Pharaoh looking for a jump, and that's probably, that's going to be a, another good clothesline. Yeah. Let's see how. Yeah. Okay, sour spot, unfortunately, there for Trash Boat. Not going to take down Pharaoh. Still oh, looking for a sweet yeah. spot of some I sort. I was expecting to grab there. He went for a down tilt instead, but. Works out. Ooh. Oh, I think one more. He could have tilted again, but and still gets the kill. Going to do it for game number two. Pharaoh gonna What's tie that? this up. Uh, oh, I thought they were gonna play on stream. And it looks like we got ourselves another resub. Our absolute commentating legend, Vel Smash, with that 43 month resub. Let's go, Vel. Alright, since. Uh, Kane and AA played off stream without knowing. Uh, Kaden and Veggie Team should be on next instead. Oh, right on, right on. And of course, Captain K, welcome to the commentary desk. Heck yeah. <laughs> I was basically watching this the whole time I was out there, anyways. We're going to get to hop in right here. Game number three on Kalos. Trashville got the first one like pretty decently, and it would be mm -hmm. the upset, I believe, if he does yes. take down Pharaoh here. Yeah, 13th and 20th seeds. I know um, Pharaoh did go as Wolf the game one, which is like a pretty recent character choice of his. Yeah. Right, Trash Boat's actually, I like the idea now. I was wondering why Kalos, but he's being a lot more uh, passive and not yeah. dealing with Incineroar. Yeah, can going for a lot more. Ooh, nice berry. Yeah, he was just going back and throwing eggs, and I'm like, oh, that's good. Although Incineroar can revenge the eggs. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh. <laughs> I love how Incineroar taunts after everything he does. Yeah. 
Yeah, 130s is definitely scary. Yeah. This is when, like, almost any straight hit from Incineroar is going to start killing. Oh, that's a bad spot. There we go. Cut Pharaoh reaching, and he's actually smoking him with a ton of solid hits. And that up air. Yeah, Pharaoh in disadvantage was just kind of drifting in, so that's definitely going to put you in a terrible spot. And I keep seeing him fall for the down Bs. Yeah, luckily, Trash Boat doesn't abuse it enough to the point where it's predictable, but he does fire it out more than most Yoshis yeah. I see. Good yeah, back. You just got to be respecting that option oh. all the times. There's the Nair. <laughs> As soon as that doesn't <laughs> become true anymore, just whip that Nair out. 150. Oh, definitely you're into it. Ooh, I like that. Ducked right under the egg to get that side beam. What's it called again? Or the Alolan whip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I liked that. Jumped right over it, landed with the uh, fair. Not a move you see often used for landing, I feel like, with Incineroar, but the oh! oh! That was an interesting option, and it actually worked. A huge call out from Pharaoh. Yeah, I didn't think he had B reversed it, but <laughs> since he did, that killed so early off the side. I think Pharaoh's doing a good job of kind of like understanding what options T-Boat's liking right now. Because you can see how he's going for these side beats. Although they whiffed, he was calling something out and it would have worked if he had spaced it a tiny bit better. Got Trash Boat still on the chase. 140 now on Pharaoh. Yeah, the juggles are how he got the kill last time. So I'd kind of expect him that to be the way he gets it again. Up smash, up air. <laughs> Big damage though. Every time you hit by side beats in Cineroar. Yeah, it's at least 20. Okay, back throw? Uh, yeah, I didn't know if... Oh, that's... Oh, that's scary, but he sold okay. his jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit of an overextension with that old Lowland Whip, making its way he couldn't recover. Yeah, it is a good gimp option, but, like, when you... It's Yoshi who still has a jump. Like, <laughs> when Yoshi... If you caught him doing the jump, then yeah, because he doesn't really have anything else. He's got his upbeat. Okay, another good clothesline. Yes, the... Um, the <laughs> Lolan Whip is not something you can just like spot dodge or roll against. Unless you roll in, um, you have to kind of just not put yourself in that position. Mm -hmm. 99 on the trash boat. Fighting for his round one life. Stay in winner's yeah. side. It's game three, last stop. I didn't realize. Uh, but like, He's although treats. although Incineroar has so much scary kill power, he can die off like one good gimp. So. Mm -hmm. oh, he's whipping out that double jump like it's nobody's business. Oh, That's a like close that. line right from center. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's alive. The Kalos big blast zones are helping out a lot. I'm surprised he went for the up there. Oh, Ooh. that works. Oh, the that's revenge. Clutch. Oh, oh he's he got dead. him in there. He's dead. He's yeah. out of there. Nicely I mean, done. <laughs> he was dead regardless. But the option to go high instead was pretty smart. I like that because he was close to the top last zone. Oh, that was actually perfect. I really loved that from Pharaoh. I was expecting another clothesline. I'm surprised that yeah. the Alolan whip grabbed to begin with. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that he, like, thought quick enough to the point, oh no, I don't have to close line this. Let's just throw him up. I'm right here. <laughs> just finish him off. Yeah, I I liked uh, a lot. I, I saw a lot of good things from both players compared to the times I've seen them in the past. It seems like both have gotten a bit better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go play my round two. My round one, his round two. Off yeah. stream. Sounds uh, good. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you, sir. And it looks like up next, we have Kush and Inez. Let us hope I am not butchering that correctly, but I think this is the first time, at least in a good while, that we've seen Ennis on stream. Kush, on the other hand, I mean, he's pretty well a mainstay here at Smash Class. Very curious to see what kind of style Kush is going to throw for us today, and then who Ennis picks. It's been a little while since I've seen him play, so looking forward to it. Taking a quick look at our scenes, rankings, exclamation mark rankings. If you want to follow along in the chat, we got Kush sitting at number four. And this is definitely going to be the underdog. As I'm trying to scroll through, I don't see him. Granted, he's only been two, or he's only played, I think, in at least two or three weekly, so... It is definitely the underdog in this situation, but we'll definitely love to see him do well here in this match. 